Hey everybody, welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thanks for tuning in. Haven't seen you guys in a couple days. I've been pretty busy. Just got back from my trip to the year 1988. And while I was in 1988, I stopped by my local hills and I picked up some packages that were sitting around the warehouse for a couple years. Ignore the Amazon logo. It's going against what I'm saying here. Make believe, guys. Use your imagination. But anyways, this first one's a pretty big package. We're going to save that one for last. And then we have two more packages. Uh, smaller in size. This one is not a keyboard, I assure you. Have not yet opened any of these. I'm cracking them with you for the first time today. So you guys will be with me as I open them. And um, that's what we're doing in this video. You guys have anything to say? Well, they're speechless. I think they're going to um, really enjoy this video, though. But let's uh, let's go ahead and get right down to it. Okay, so the first one we're going to open today is in this random um, keyboard box. And this is about this, uh, this is actually from a place called J&J &J Collectibles. And J&J &J is based out of Rhode Island. And one thing I noticed upon um, getting this package is uh, this little tab right here is not taped up or anything. Like I could pop this right open <laughs> and uh, just infiltrate the package right there. There's literally nothing, no tape or nothing on there at all. But, whatever. It looks like it's well protected regardless. I see some bubble wrap in there and whatnot. So, A plus on that so far. Throw that uh, dumb box to the side there. And this is what we got. Sorry, my tripod is being a pain. Cooperating a little bit now. So, tossing the packaging off to the side. And some light bubble wrapping. And it looks like some uh, cardboard there. What could this be? What did uh, Hills save for me? Look at that. Pretty awesome. This is an original vintage Magic Slate for the real Ghostbusters series. And I've only come across maybe two or three of these in my travels and totally collecting over the last seven years or so. And this one has never been used. As you can see, the... Uh, the pen there is still sealed. So, pretty awesome. I used to love these when I was a kid. I never, definitely never had this one. At least I don't remember ever having it. So, these are pretty cool. You draw them and then you lift up on here to erase the image. Kind of like a uh, poor man's like etch sketch there. But these are so awesome. I love them. This thing I'll throw into probably uh, a magazine, uh, a poly magazine bag and um, throw on display. So, this I picked up for, I believe... I, think I, I, I threw a best offer in there and uh, it knocked like five bucks off. So I think I got this for like $24 shipped, which is pretty awesome for Ghostbusters novelty stuff. This stuff sells like crazy and it sells fast. So, um, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this thing sold for upwards of 50 bucks, honestly. People have paid it in the past and they'll pay it again. So luckily I got it for $24 shipped. I thought that was a pretty good deal. So that was my very first pickup there of uh, last week. The next package we have is coming the entire way from California, and it's one of these weird ones that don't have an actual uh, don't have flaps in the middle there to open up, so they're kind of pain. You have to open them from the sides and the top and yank them out. But we'll see what we got here. I think I know what this is, but you can never be too sure. When you get stuff online, or in my case, from a store that went out of business, you know, over 20 years ago. One more flap here, and we should be in. Let's see what, uh, see what we pulled out of here. And once again, we got some uh, nice packaging there. And this is exactly what I thought it was going to be so far. Really excited about this pickup. This is going to be my first of this series. I've never owned one of these. I knew at least. Um, good packing job here. Always helps take the extra time to uh, make sure that uh, your buyer's stuff is 
well cared for because the USPS can be unforgiving and they can, uh, I don't know, destroy your stuff. I've seen it happen. Oh, this is really interesting. I've never seen anything like this. He then threw a roll in there to make sure it was uh, protected good. We got cardboard in here. I need a freaking uh, sledgehammer to open this thing up. I don't even see a tab I can cut into. Here we go. Carefully open this without cutting the 30 year old contents inside. Wow, they really, uh, really went to town here with this extra packaging. But anyways, this thing is nice. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever uh, seen one this nice in the card. This is a vintage 1986 Filmations Ghostbusters Fib Face figure. Uh, for those of you who remember this cartoon, uh, Eric and I used to uh, call us the fake Ghostbusters. That's how we referred to it. The show <laughs> originally aired uh, only a few days before the real Ghostbusters, if you guys remember that, which is based on the movies. This one was based on the live-action series of the 70s, which I'm, I'm sure some of you remember. And uh, everyone always remembers a gorilla, Tracy. Um, that's how it's uh, most distinguishable from what I, uh, from what I hear. Um, never really watched a live action series. That's before my, way before my time actually. But uh, I was a fan of this show. I do, have, I do own the whole series now on DVD. It's getting tougher to find. Um, but these are made by Shaper, and uh, they are getting more and more expensive. Um, for instance, if you could find this guy brand new in the card, um, you'd probably pay close to a thousand dollars for him to find him brand new, like in this condition, Tracy. Jake, you're gonna pay probably close to a thousand bucks, uh, somewhere around there. Maybe maybe like eight hundred, nine hundred. You don't see him very often, but I feel like usually when I have seen him in the past, they're there around a thousand bucks. And then Eddie also, um, he can sell for close to a thousand dollars in the new condition on the card. There, I almost had a Prime Evil recently. He was the main antagonist villain of the show. I almost had one on uh, eBay. Someone outbid me in the last freaking second. Uh, I think it was like fifty-five bucks and. He's, uh, he's sold upwards of like $200 on there before, and he still does. So all these are pretty expensive. Um, that's why when I saw this, I had to get it. The only really minor blemish here is uh, the peg hook. Um, uh, the peg hole right here is a little damaged, but like, it's not gonna, it's really going to bother me very much at all. The colors are very vibrant, and uh, overall, it's in pretty good shape. You got a pretty... Uh, Firm bubble there. You always want to test those. Make sure the glue and the adhesive is uh, still remaining solid on there. You want to spend a bunch of money on a figure and have it pop right off the card. And, you know, in that case, you might as well just buy it loose. But Fib Face is uh, not a real expensive one. But um, these days, you don't really see them sell for uh, less than, uh, I don't know, probably 50 bucks, $60. New on the card there. I was able to pick this up for, I believe, $30. I think it was $19.99 plus $10 shipping. So, and it was an auction. No one else bid on it. So I jumped right in, and I uh, I ended up being the only uh, the only bidder. So sometimes you get lucky, and uh, I felt like I got lucky there. So now I have to collect the rest of this toy line, and um, I'm pretty excited about it. I love the old uh, the old uh, card artwork there. I love the toy photography. Just uh, it, it takes me back looking at the uh, the backs of these cards. Love them. So. My first, uh, my first pickup for uh, the Filmation Ghostbuster toy line. Pretty excited about this. Let me know down in the comments if you guys remember the show, if you had any, um, if you were a fan of the fake Ghostbusters. And then last but certainly not least, we have this behemoth of a package here. Um, pretty excited if, uh, if if what's in here is correct. And here we go. Uh, lots of paper in here. It's always a good sign. Well, I see uh, something about marshmallows on there. Hopefully it's not the kind of edible marshmallows because that's not what I want. Let's yank this thing out of here. Get all this. Oh, this is freaking awesome, man. Freaking awesome. Here is the last pickup. This is also from eBay. And this is is the one and only Stay Pup Marshmallow Man. And this is a plushie. I believe this is from 1987. Um, these things are 
hard to come by and they're very expensive. As you can see, it's made by Kenner, the infamous toy company based out of Ohio. Um, love that old uh, card photography there. So awesome. There's the original four Ghostbusters. Um, these are these are the guys who got me back into collecting toys to begin with to track down uh, those figures on the card. So pretty awesome there. This thing was originally, I think, like 90 some dollars the guy had it at. And uh, I sent a message on there. I was like, I think I sent him a best offer of like 75. And he's like, hey, if you still want to do 75, I'll do 75. That was like after a week and no one bid on it. I don't know what people were thinking because this guy usually sells for about $200. I've seen him sell for more in the past. Um, so whenever I saw it, like under $100, I was like, wow, that's crazy. I should probably try to get that. So I was like, you know, I'll do it $75 plus shipping. The guy ignored me for a few days and then finally was like, I'll do it if you want. And then uh, at that point, he had lowered the auction down to like $55 plus shipping. He was like $8 shipping. So I was like, well, you know what? I think I'm just going to hold out on this and uh, see if I can maybe win the auction. Hopefully it doesn't go up past $75. But uh, I ended up getting this for $63 shipped. So something like this, this is a plushie, and it's like pristine condition. Uh, this is this is a $200 item easily. If, if I wanted to put this on eBay right now for $200, I, would, I could probably sell it uh, within 24 hours, honestly. Even within 12 hours. Another cool thing about this, let me push Stay Puffed to the side here, is that this also came with Stay Puffed. Listen, now this is an old calendar. And also, one of the coolest posters that I've ever owned and seen, I have one hanging in my house right now, but this thing is pristine. This is brand new from uh, probably 1987, actually, because the, the toy line came out on Christmas of 86, so actually probably end of 86 this came out. Um, these were included with vehicles and stuff like that when you bought them, but an awesome real Ghostbusters poster here. This room protected by the real Ghostbusters. I think I'm almost positive I had this hang in my room when I was a kid. And then it documents the beginning of the toy line here and the figures you could buy. Ectoplasm is uh, crazy how much the, a can of that goes for now. Uh, a sealed can of that. Paying 150 bucks for them now. But all these figures are, are, are very, very valuable now. But this is a pristine poster. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep this one or not since I already have one. Uh, might uh, might throw it on the, online for sale. Um, try to regain a little more money than uh, that I paid for the figure. So I mean, these usually sell for about twenty bucks, between twenty and thirty dollars for the poster by itself. So if I wanted to, I could you know sell a poster for twenty bucks and then end up paying forty three dollars for State Buff Marshmallow Man, which is absolutely crazy. But uh, I think I might actually just uh, get a frame for this and throw up my wall in my office. Pretty awesome, though. Those are my uh, that's my weekly pickup from last week. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know down below if you had this plushie or if you would even like it now. And um, I'll talk to you guys all on Friday. Have a good rest of the week, guys.